Annotations of Antonio Morgas, Successus Las Islas Filipinas. First, we have definition of terms. We have annotation. So this term, it is a short explanation or note added to a text or image of the act of adding short explanation or note. And we have successus. It is work of an honest observer, a versatile bureaucrat who know the workings of the administrations from the inside. Saksisos de las Islas Filipinas Las Islas Filipinas means the Philippines Island in English and was named in honor of the King Philip II of Spain. Saksisos de las Islas Filipinas is one of the most important works of the Philippines about the colonizations of the Spain, published by Antonio de Morga in Mexico 1609. It explains the political, social, and economical aspect of the colonizer and the colonized country. It was based on the experience and observation of Antonio de Morga. Saksisos de las Islas Filipinas Chapter 1 Magellan and Legazpi Seminal Expeditions Chapter 2-7 Chronological Report of Government Administration under Governor General Chapter 8 Philippine Islands, the native there, their antiquity, customs, and government We have Antonio de Morga Antonio de Morga Sanchez Garay from November 29, 15 59 to July 31, 1636. He was a Spanish uh, soldier, lawyer, and high-ranking of colonial official for 43 years. He serves in the Philippines from 1594 to 1604. New Spain and Cerro where he was president of the Real Audiencia for 20 years. Antonio de Morga was a historian. He published the book Saksisos de las Islas Filipinas in 1609 that considered as one of the most important works on the early history of the Spanish colonization. What leads to Sirizal to Saksisos de las Islas Filipinas? Rizal was earnest seeker of truth and his work him, a historian. He had the burning desires to know exactly the conditions of the Philippines when the Spaniards ashore to the islands. His theory was um, that the country was economically subsufficient and prosperous. He believed that the conquest of the Spanish contributed in the past to the decline of the Philippines' rich traditions and culture. In 1889-1890, Rizal spent several months in London to do his historical research on pre-colonial Philippines and to improve his English language skill. According to Dr. Ferdinand Blumentritt, the Spanish historian Dr. Antonio Morga wrote Saksisos de las Islas Filipinas which was published in Mexico in 1609. Rizal laboriously hand-copied the whole 351 pages of the Saksisos. He sifted, rated, evaluated each and every proof he could find in books, manuscripts, documents, and other records from the vast British Museum Filipiniana collection. Rizal entertained the idea that it had a lively and vigorous community enriched with the collective and sensitive art and culture at the native population. Rizal spent four months for research and writing, and one year to have his manuscript printed with Ferdinand Blumentritt, who wrote the prize or the annotation emphasizing one of the salient points that they were. Rizal's first consideration for the choice of Morga. First is the original book was rare. Second, Morga is layman, not a religious chronicler. Third, Rizal felt Morga to be more objective than the religious writers who included many miracle stones. Three kinds of Spanish delusion about the Philippines. 
First, Filipinos were an inferior race. Second, Filipinos were not ready for parliamentary representation and other reforms. Denial of equal rights can be compensated by the strict dispensation of justice. They have two categories of Rizal's annotation. Rizal corrects the original one, the straightforward historical annotation. Second, historical base reflect his anti-clerical bias. According to Guerrero 1998, Rizal annotation of Morga Sucesos de las Islas Filipinas has three main propositions. Here are the three main proposition of Rizal's annotation of Morga Sucesos. First is awaken the consciousness of the Filipinos of their glorious way of the past. Second, correct what has been distorted about the Philippines due to the Spanish conquest. Third, prove that Filipinos civilized even before the coming of the Spaniards. Different views of Rizal and Morga about Philippines and the Philippines. Geography Morgas. The Philippines was inhabitable. It extends up to 12 degrees south latitude. In result, Petolini in his geography indicated three islands which once he had Daigeldo, Amboina, and their inhabitants. Thus, Philippines was not deserted and was actually habitable. It is actually at exactly 25 degrees and 40 minutes latitude north until 25 degrees latitude south. Climate Morgas winters and summer are opposite of those in Europe. Rainy weather is from June to September. Sunrays is from October to May. Rizal. In Manila, by December to February, the temperature goes down more than it does during August to September, thus with regards to the season. It resembles Spain as all the rest of the Northern Hemisphere. Plant species Morgas Beetle or buyo, pickles, and ginger are abundant. In result, beetle is kasubha in Tagalog. Culture and society Body tattoo Morgas Draws pattern first before putting black powder where the blood oozes out. In result, Rizal agreed it is the same methods as the Japanese. Indigenous people Morgas Tribes of wind cannot be safe because of violence. In result, they will always choose violence until the government enters because of their inhuman ways, as answer those who do not submit to the friars. Lifestyle and Moral Principles In Morgas, men and women are money-loving and in capital, so when there is a price, they yell. Bathing their body on rivers or streams regardless of their age. In result, we find it everywhere in the world, even in Europe. Indians have hygienic customs, which is the proper way of taking a bath. For men, according to Morga, there are no kings or lords to rule the Philippines during that time. Morga was critical to the system of government because there are no rulers for mild communities, instead one leader for each tribe. According to Rizal, Rizal agreed that there were no such king in the Philippines during that time. Rizal argued that it was better the, that way because having a leader that knows what the tribe needs and what the problem is, is more effective than the other one. Next is foods. According to Marga, Filipino prefers to eat salt fish which begin to decompose and smell. According to him, the ordinary food of the native is very small fish which they call lao lao. But according to Rizal, it is called bagoong, and all those who have eaten it and tasted it knows that it is not or ought to be not rotten. It seems that Morga refers to tawilis or pilis, which is eaten by the natives in large quantities. Next is faith, belief of crocodiles. According to Morga, natives set traps on borders of rivers and streams near the settlement to secure them from which they fear and venerate. But according to Rizal, it is just like how other nations have their respond to lions and bears, putting their symbols in their shield and giving them the vulnerable ephatals to protect themselves. Healers 
According to Morgas, grave sorcerers and wizards who deceive the people and communicate to them whether they wish. They believe in omens and superstitions. They can feel whether the sick person will live or die. According to Rizal, proved through the story of Father Corino about the case of Armanda who is sick, he often offered his body to see if he will be cured. But if he was cured, what could be said now to all who died despite all the masses offered to the different virgins, they might be healed also. Custom for the Dead According to Morgas, they buried their dead in their own houses, keeping their bodies and bones for a long time in boxes and venerate their skulls. According to Rizal, we find it much more natural and pious to venerate the remains of our loved ones than those fanatical martyrs who we have no dealings, who probably will never remember us for such a long time. Next is the economy. According to Morgas, cotton is raised through the islands which they sell and trade as threads. The native of the island sold artifacts of Japanese. Natives are always mining for gold when the Spaniards came, mining became lesser and they just treasured with gold jewelry they have passing it through a generation. According to Rizal, they also have cotton and not just rice. Rizal agreed that it's very interesting in history shape and valued with a price of 100 offered for one of them. The Indus on seeing the wealth arose the capacity of incumenderos and soldiers abandon the work in the mines and the priests historian relate that in order to save them from vexation. And that is the different views of Rizal and Morgans about Philippine culture and to the Filipino. Thank you for listening and have a great day.